Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 13. Inside this video session guys, we are going to add classes to our allies as well as anchors of created dynamic menus over theme. If I back to browser, now in the last video, we had seen all about to display our dynamic menu items to our custom theme. But remember, this is not looking as good because we have missed some classes over this UL, ally as well as inside this anchor tag. Inside last video, we had customized all about this UL class. Now inside this video, we are going to work over this ally as well as inside this anchor link. So first of all, if we see inside this ally, so these are the classes which is by default WordPress provides, but we want some more classes and it is going to look something if I scroll down and see inside this ally, so we want these classes called nav-item. If we add this class to each of the ally then it is going to some good. So what I will do, go inside this functions.php because we have some filter actions to add our own custom class in ally. If I make some comment of lines, so this is all about register nav menu and inside this functions.php and to create one more functions let's say function and if I copy our theme name simple bootstrap theme let's say add ally underscore class now this is the function and we are going to use the filter hook what is the difference between a filter as well as our action inside WordPress, we have a playlist in our channel something called Complete WordPress Tutorial about hooks and filters. So when you will go with that course, then you will understand about the difference between filter hooks as well as about action hooks. Now inside this function, the first parameter our we have to pass our filter hook name. So something we have called nav menu something called CSS class. Inside this, we need to add our function name. So copy, passing it here. I'm going to pass all about the priority of this execution of this function. This is all about the priority as we can see here and the number of accepted arguments for this function. So this is the function which is going to accept three parameters. So here inside this, Let's say that classes, all we have about items and arguments. So this is the function we have created and bind with this filter hook which have a priority of 1 and accepting 3 parameters. This is the syntax actually we need to use for this filter hook. Now inside this, let's say that classes inside this array simply we need to use our class name so we want all about to use nav hyphen item so copy that passing it here and simply let's return classes now if we save this change let's put one line comment so adding a like class from here so if we save this change go here reload this page and if we check inside this ally and here we have nav hyphen item. Now this is the class what we have added from our functions.php. Now if you go here, let's say that simple bootstrap theme, another class we are going to add and this is spt hyphen theme. Save this change, reload this page. And if we go inside this ally, we can see that the another class we have added successfully. So this is the way that is how can we add our own custom class inside each of the ally tag. This is the simplest way to do that. Otherwise we have several methods by using our navwalker class. We have a navwalker class in build feature of WordPress where we can customize the layout of UL and ally. 
we will understand these things in different course. So right now, this is all the classes what we have added for the Ally. Now let's see about adding classes. So let's adding classes to let's say anchor links. Now here we have to make a function for that. If I copy the function name, so copy that, pasting it here, and this is all about add anchor links. Now inside this function, the same parameters we are going to pass about let's say classes, about item, and all about arguments here. And finally, we need to bind this function with our add filter hook. So let's add underscore filter and inside this instead of the CSS class we need to add link class. So let's say nav menu it's nav menu link attributes because we are going to add some attributes inside our link tags means anchor links and here we are going to call this function and inside this function we need to pass our priority so this is the priority and the number of parameters we are passing inside this equal to 3. These are the parameters as you are thinking that these are not the useful parameters for this function but keep in mind this is our like the structure or the bare bone to use these functions. So inside this simply let's say classes inside this we are going to use our if you go to header and we need to use nav hyphen link this is our anchor class so if i copy pasting it here and finally we need to turn these classes all we have done now if we save these changes go here reload these pages if we inspect this anchor link so i think that we have some mistake and mistake is that inside this anchor we are adding attributes and inside this we are getting called nav link but i think that instead of class we are getting all about the zero index value so we need to add inside this array as let's say class here this was our mistake so if we save this change because this is an attribute we are going to add inside each of the link and inside this class this is the class that actually we are going to add so save this change reload this page and now we can see that our menu items now perfect this time these are the pages that what we have created called home about services and contact so if we go inside this we have added our own custom class inside this ul inside this ally as well as inside this anchor links if suppose we want to add some more parameters so simply we can add here if we want to add some more custom classes so let's say that spt something link class and simply write spt hyphen link hyphen class save this change reload this page now in anchor links we are getting another class what we have added now if we close this inspect click on any of the pages and as we know that right now there is no page templates for these pages so that's why it is rendering the default content what we have inside index.php but as we know that while creating these pages we have a page title we had a heading as well as we have some content so how can we render about the dynamic content of all these templates we will understand in the next video for those cases we need to use a post loop so we will understand in the next video so inside this video session guys actually we understood about adding classes to allies as well as inside link attributes so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day